What's going on YouTube? George Sabre here of Coin Observatory. Today is uh, Saturday, November 7th. Um, I want to talk to you about the next big opportunity I'm seeing in markets. I think it's just getting started in terms of a cycle. And I think next week, once these earnings come out and they're a little bit disappointing, there might be an opportunity to pop in here and position yourself um, like I'm positioning myself. It's going to be like the next two, three year um, type setup as some of these laws don't go into play until um, like mid next year, right? So we're not going to see earnings reflect on that just yet. I want to talk to you about the cannabis industry. Um, some things that happened over the the election is five, I think five states legalized. I know New Jersey did, South Dakota did, Montana and I'm talking like recreational use, right? Um, Arizona. So there's there's a lot of changes. Now there's more states that have decriminalized, right, and legalized the use of cannabis recreationally than states that haven't, right? Um, something. This is something that we, we looked out for um, mid-October, October 19th. I actually tweeted my positioning on Tilray. I said $7.5 calls for january 2021 in the bag it looks bottom to me i got into this trade based on the chart based on the market cycle before the news before the election before the rest of the world realizing our vips got in this trade too our followers on twitter some were skeptical some were not um but hey, if you got into this trade we bought these calls for 62 dollars and just yesterday they were trading for 440 dollars over 600 percent on this position right so what i want to do in this video is i want to talk about some other stocks that i'm seeing um i, I published where'd it go oh come on i published on on friday morning before before the market opened I published that uh, expect cannabis stocks to fly, and uh, they they pretty much they did exactly what I thought they were gonna do. This was Friday before the open, and if you click play, Tilbury went from seven eighty two to a high of twelve dollars seventeen. Um, CGC went from twenty one to twenty three fifty. The high was twenty four sixty, and MJ. The ETF went from like twelve dollars up to fourteen eighty. So, um, what what did I see? What what triggered this uh, this positioning? So we do know that markets tend to work cyclically, right? We do see these cyclical moves in the market, um, kind of like boom and bust, right? And uh, we trade a lot of assets. We don't just trade one industry. We we look for opportunity. We trade cryptos. We trade the community, like we trade um, tech, we trade stocks, we trade indices, we trade everything except for forex. So, um, I had seen this bottom formation. I'd followed Tilray from IPO. I remember when this thing IPO'd, um, it it went flying. It made like thirteen hundred percent. And I was looking at the IPO right around when Beyond IPO'd. I can't tell which one uh, IPO'd. I can't remember. Which one I would first, but if you look at Beyond, um, they did the same thing, right? And I was looking for a bottom structure because we did trade Beyond the premium on this thing goes nuts, right? Um, when we look at what they did post IPO, they literally had like the same type of pump, similar consolidation, except for uh, for Tilray got sold a lot lower, right? But it did make a lot more, it made thirteen hundred percent. And then I was looking here, you know, I'm like, how did Beyond Bottom, because I remember the IPO pump of Tilray was the same type of hype. How is Tilray bottoming? And I saw this setup um, after this sell-off, right? So uh, just a better highlight. I, I love trading correlations. Based on correlations, I put out a video last Saturday saying the market was going up after the election, and it did, and that was all based on correlations too, right? So, um but you're not seeing this consolidation, you know, big drop, big drop. And, and then now we're seeing reversals. So now, you know, we're targeting that like $18 to $15 range on Tilray, right? Um, probably going to see something like this before continuation to like $28. Um, and then I'll like reconsider what to do in my positioning um, in terms of a, uh, a long-term hold, right? And if you kind of look at this map I just mapped out on Tilray, it's exactly what Beyond did and it flew higher, 
right? Um, and then back at the, that same fib extension level, right? If you don't know how to use fibs and you want to learn how to do this, um, feel free to join us. Now, another stock I'm looking at is going to be CGC Canopy Growth. This has been the gold standard, right? I think this one has actually maintained the most of its gains out of any other cannabis stock. Um, and, you know, I should have been paying attention to the industry a little bit more because you would have gotten really good entries, uh, like way back here. But, you know, that, that's just based on, on the bearish extension and a failed wave. And now we're seeing like a descending broadening wedge. Um, so theoretically, you know, on, on CGC, I'm seeing 38 to be one target, right? I'm t these are short term targets, right? If the industry goes boom, and 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 then let's say a really big decisive factor of how much of a boom the industry can actually generate is if interstate marijuana commerce is ever legalized, right? So if, if you're in Colorado and you want to buy from California or if you're in Arizona and you want to buy from and you can actually order that stuff like let's say USPS or like on a federal level, and you know, then we can see these things really soar. Um, but one thing I've been saying internally uh, to our VIPs, you know, for the last few days, I'm saying, hey, guys, uh, uh, cannabis is the new tech, right? I'm saying cannabis is the new tech. And a lot of us crushed it. A lot of us crushed it. Um, here's uh, for starters, right? We're just kind of getting getting into this phase. But, like, some of these calls were about a four, 74 to 365 62 to 440 i'm talking 600 percent return in like two weeks and it's just getting started like chad got in a 45 sold at 310 um yeah so um moving on cgc i'm looking for for 38 to be the first target and i think if this is going to go to a new high um this is going to be like bigger cycle trading, right? We can only like draw an extension from high to low before the drop. And then we're looking at like a high of 73.81 type thing. But if this is the new tech bubble, then really expect things to fly. Another really interesting bet would be the ETF. This is kind of like the, the, the S&P or the QQQ of cannabis, right? And that's MJ. And it's really important to keep an eye on MJ because um, it is the index, right? Um, or the ETF. And one critical level I'm looking out for on MJ is 15.25. That's the 61.8. That's where it topped off last time. If it can't close above it, right? If it can't close above it, then, you know, this, this rally is going to, you're going to have a, a much bigger window of opportunity to accumulate on a longer level if you're a spot holder now my mj calls expire in august of 21 and they're in the 16 dollar range right my cgc calls also so i believe they expire in um april 2021 and they're 37s and one thing I did really well on Tilray was position myself for January 750s. I mean, the chart was at five bucks when I got into those. But if, if we do get this run to like 28 and let's say I expire in the money, I'll probably cash out half and then uh, hang on to the other half. Let them exercise at 750, which would be a super discount because if thing if this thing really starts moving, you know, I wouldn't expect the uh, road to 179 which is you know that's just ridiculous you know we got to trade these things one extension at a time but if, if we can start retracing back up um to 15 dollars right or even just maintain that um the smaller 61.8 right here on this retracement and i was saying to the vips on friday i said hey guys we gotta stay above 881 or else this is a bull trap and luckily we did get that close we did get that close above um 881 now the bad news is bad news is earnings come out on monday right so these things could have been pump and then dump um so if you're skeptical about the play you know we never say fomo in anything but if we do get a sell-off if we get an earnings clap on monday that's your opportunity that's your opportunity to get into this industry because i think it's going to be it's going to be hot um 
And I, I witnessed a lot of these, uh, like, I saw what CGC did in, in 2018. I saw in, like, 2019, I think, uh, 2018, one of the funds that got in at, like, $4 that I was working with said, hey, give me some targets on, on Canopy. And uh, we were kind of just trailing stops. They didn't want to take, they didn't want to, like, just sell. They just wanted to trail their stop. And I think at one point we put our stop at 39 or 45 once they got stomped out, we just kind of let it go. We let it go, and then it went in a, a downtrend. Now I'm not working with that fund anymore. You know, thank God I'm not working with that fund anymore. Anyways, that's all I've got. So keep an eye on the cannabis industry. Um, think of this your time horizon, next two to five years. Now, if you get into these, like, cheap calls um, that expire, you know, 2021, and they expire in the money, think yourself is getting a pretty awesome discount, and... Uh, Call it a day, right? Let me just hang on to them. If you want to see how we're trading them, if you want to see how we're we're buying these options calls, um, trying to get in on, on sell-off days, averaging down, and then turning it around, um, click the link, join Discord, and I'll see you there. Thank you.